You could also be asked to identify several structures listed on your study guide from the microscope slide of the trachea. And those structures are listed here. Let's look at an actual slide of the trachea. This is a slide of the trachea. We're going to start on the lumen side. So here's our open space. Recall that pseudostratified columnar epithelial cells line the lumen of the trachea. You can identify them by looking at the cilia here. Also notice that the nuclei bounce around a little bit. Notice that we have goblet cells everywhere you see like this little sort of uh, off white area. That's mucus being produced by the goblet cells. Deep to that we have the submucosa. The submucosa contains glands as you can see. The submucosa makes up the lamina propria. And then here we have cartilage. Remember the outer layer of rings of cartilage of the trachea? the pseudostratified column epithelial tissue and the cartilage should help you distinguish a slide of the trachea from a slide of the small intestine. Remember in the digestive system lab you will also look at a slide of the small intestine under the microscope and like the trachea it's a hollow organ so you're going to have a lumen which is open space you're going to have epithelial cells lining that lumen, but what's different is, number one, we have pseudostratified column epithelial tissue lining the trachea. We have simple columnar lining the small intestine, and also uh, we have villi in the small intestine. We don't have those structures in the trachea. And of course, we have cartilage in the trachea. We do not have cartilage in our small intestine.